Hi, Evelyn. It's Ken Schroeder, web designer for coaches. And in this video, I'm going to review your coaching website. Um, I'm over at coaching websites, no, coaching sites that work.com. And um, when I review, uh, when I review coaches websites, I'm looking for, uh, I want to know if the website will engage people right away, will get them excited about what you have to offer as a coach, and then ultimately lead them to contact you, contacting you for coaching. Okay, so let's have a look at your website. Okay, Evelyn, let's dive in. Okay. All right, great. So the website address is ejenkinsonlifecoach.com. So that's cool. Uh, it's your name and the word life coach. So that's good. The, uh, it's on a secure server. So that's good as well. And um, when I first land here, this is what I'm getting. And I like that the menu is at the top, obviously, where that is. Home about me, services. Um, let's connect to my blog. So that's cool. Very obvious what these these uh, items mean. You've got your name in that left corner. Great. You have your photo there. Probably get rid of it because it's so small. Um, so it's pretty much hard to see. Um, it's a little. That's a little bit wacky for it to be in the logo. You know, the uh, logo or the also called the site ID tends to be something small and just a reference. So, you I mean your name's there, that's plenty. Yeah, I would get rid of your photo there. And if you can, align it to the left so that, you know, the things properly align. Um, so, like, if you look at the left side of my screen, Evelyn Jenkin Jenkinson, try to align that to the left edge of this beige thing. And then the menu, grab all that and, and align it to the right of this, this right side of this beige kind of big box here so that things feel properly aligned. Okay, uh, you can get there from here. Okay, that's cool. It says something positive about with life coaching. Uh, wherever you are in your life, you can get to what you want next. Is it a fresh start, better balance, a lifestyle change, a new career, a richer social life, or something else? Working with life coaches is exciting. Self exploratory, self exploratory process supports you in moving forward. Uh, it's real, fun, or results oriented, and it's all about you. Getting what you want. Okay, cool. So some good wording here. Um, tells what you do and why it's important and what's good. And yeah, I know you're a more general life coach, so you have a different um, a range of things you cover. And that's cool. If uh, my instincts tell me that if you can just get this into half the size and a bit bigger font, is then I think that would be good. Um, I would move away from the process kind of stuff like this. Um, but stick just to the the main results and benefits just at the beginning of the site. You know, wherever you are in life, uh, you can get to what's next, whether it's a fresh start, better balance, lifestyle change, new career, enriches social life or something else. Um, you can get there from here. Something like that, simple, so that I just an overriding thing. This is a feels a bit long to me in the amount here because um, again when, when people come to websites they want to immediately know who it's for why they should be there and within seconds so for me to kind of read through this will take more than a few seconds and I would resist to doing so the best I would get is this and I don't think that's as juicy as what you have in here this is a nice little um, encompassing of kind of the areas you work with people that's good to have that. And then, like on your coaching page or services page, get into more about your packages, rates, etc. cetera. Um, let's see if we're a good fit. But overall, that's cool. If you have a summary here, that lets me know exactly what kind of what you're up to. So that's good. Okay. Um, I take it that's you because it's up here. But if you get rid of the one up here, and this is you, I would get your name in the photo. Um, you know, some signature font that says Evelyn Jenkinson. So that, you know, it's not like stock photo or a client photo or I don't know, whatever photo. Um, about me, so that's sort of here as well. The thing with when people put like squares and sections on pages and this stuff, it's sometimes it's hard to know what's related to what. 
a bit more scattered. So my work, I don't know. Oh, my job, my career. Okay. Like balance. <clears throat> With these headings, I would do something. Um, are you struggling at work or you're not satisfied at work? Um, is work not the way you'd want it to be? Question mark. So letting me know, leading me in that this is all about, I guess, your, um, I don't know what this is about. It just feels a bit like scattered stuff here. Um, is this a list? Is this trying to list some of the things that, uh, let's connect. Let's connect. What if I click let's connect here? It tends me to the bottom here. Okay. Coaching services. Okay, this is a bit weird. I click on coaching services and I get this list of three things. But it's a little tough to know what where one section ends and one begins. It's a bit floaty. Um, so this is your recent blog post, and so they're here on the left. Um, but then this is also about me. If I click on about me, I get about me, and then there's more about me. Um, and that isn't much more about you. I, and I, I'd, I'd go for just keep these simple pages and don't make them scroll within the page because it's not doing me, it's not helping me out, it's making it confusing. You only need one about me page because you don't have much more on the more about me. It's just one about me page. You don't have this thing slide. Is it? You don't need stuff sliding in. Um, is this going to continue sliding? Now I'm wondering if there's more sliding coming because there isn't much here. By the way, this is not. This link's not working. Oh, it is working. Is it working? Okay, uh, that link does work. It's not obvious because it's not underlined. So that's weird. Um. Yeah, well, one about me page, one coaching services page. Uh, on the home page, what you can do is just have a lead in to the coaching services. You know, just like a one paragraph and then learn more about coaching services with me. Because now you have, yeah, coaching services this. Uh, I'm getting lost a bit. So I would try and keep it simple with a page for each thing and just content going straight from top to bottom instead of trying to scatter things onto this page it's just it's just it's, it's confusing with like you know your work is this is it much supposed to start with, usually these are like blurbs that lead to something else but instead in this case it's actually not it's the entire thing about coaching and then if you want me to take the next step to connect i think what you really want me to do is get in touch and let's talk about um, your life, your work, and your career, and how I can help you, um, you know, how I can help you, what would be your short term, how I can help you find a better there to get to, something like that, okay, or how I can coach you to real fun results that, you know, that are meaningful for you, but tie in, you know, why let's just say let's connect tie in what you want me to do so that we can you want me you you want me as a client and uh, if i'm actually here and i'm struggling with something i want you to help me so i'm not you know let's be intentional about it and invite them to do that um okay so but basically you you want to let people know that you're taking clients and that that's how you're going to work with them and tell them okay you reach out to me and then have some questions and then let them know that you know i will review your questions and then probably and likely schedule time to talk about what's happening in your situation and we can find ways to, to help you along and then I can share with you my coaching services and how that might look longer term to make significant you know changes in your life work career relationships okay so spell out what's going to happen and what you want them to do I'm going to for the fun of this let's just see if this even works oftentimes these forms don't work just to test to see if you get this just email me back. Okay. Okay. Can it coaching sites at work.com? Blah, 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 blah. Do send. <clears throat> okay. This message I almost didn't see. Down here it says success, message received. Make this big and red. So I didn't, I wasn't sure it was sent. I think people might, people will miss that. Also, copyright 2019. 
Um, <clears throat> um, da -da -da -da. Now my blog. Power of changing just one thing. Needs and wants a distinction. I have an article called uh, How to Write Titles That People Will Click. And I recommend you read it. It's on my website. Um, I've, you know, I've done a lot of testing and I've studied from other markers, etc. There's a good formula for doing titles. Um, so, somebody's needs and wants the distinction. Um, well, I think what you're trying to say here is what's the difference between needs and wants and how to make important changes in life. Because I think, I haven't read this yet, but I think what you're trying to say in this article is that there's a difference. And it's good to know the difference because knowing the difference is important. And knowing the difference is important if you want to move forward in your life, careers, or goals. Um, so the, a, a better title would be Needs and Wants and How to Change Your Life for the Better When You Know the Difference. So you need to tie in the benefit of this. So I have an article called, um, and I will, oh, how am I going to link it? I'm actually not sure I'm going to link it. I'm actually just going to show it to you here. Let's do this. Um, so the article that I have is how to write titles that get clicked. Um, and I'm going to paste the link right into the browser in a moment. Let's see. Uh, Yes, give me a moment while I get it. Okay, Evelyn, I'm going to paste the the article title here. And so this page will refresh. Santa's MV technique for email subject lines that get clicked. The same technique works for blog posts as well. <clears throat> so if you want to get your blog posts read, you should use Santa's MV technique. Which is all it goes into here. This this article, mystery and value, and a bunch of um, tips on how to make it work. And a little quiz down here too, I believe. Okay, um, let me go back to your site. Okay, Evelyn, I hope this has been helpful. Um, thanks for sharing your website. I will see you on my email list. And again, my name is Ken Schroeder. I'm a web designer for coaches over at coachingsitesthatwork.com. Okay, bye.